This video is meant to familiarize the rider with the location of information and components on a Ranger SP570. Note that some features and accessories shown may not be present on all models and may not represent production vehicles. In the front of the vehicle, you'll find the front grill, which can be removed to clean the front of the radiator. The vehicle hood can be opened by turning the two quarter turn latches and sliding the hood forward. Underneath the hood, you'll find the pulse bar, coolant overflow bottle, and the radiator cap. Moving to the front suspension, you'll find the shock assembly, tie rod, CV joints and axle, A-arm, and ball joint. The brake fluid reservoir can be viewed through the left front wheel well. The headlight adjustments can also be found in both front wheel wells. Side nets can be found on both sides of the vehicle and can be adjusted in the front and rear. Underneath the seat is a storage compartment, battery, diagnostic plug, and the fuse panel. Once in the driver's seat, you'll find the upper storage tray, high beam and low beam headlight switch, gauge assembly, mode and navigation buttons, ignition switch, gear selector, lower storage, storage below the seat, and the steering wheel adjustment lever. On the center dash, you'll see the upper cup holders, 12 volt auxiliary outlet, all wheel drive switch, vehicle charging port, another 12 volt auxiliary outlet, middle storage tray, and the lower cup holders. On the right side of the dash, you'll see the passenger grab handle, two lower storage trays, storage below the seat, and the glove box which houses the toolkit. The toolkit will contain a T40 Torx wrench, T30 Torx wrench, T25 Torx wrench, clutch spreader tool, multifunction pliers, shock adjustment tool, spark plug wrench, and a tire pressure gauge. The fuel cap is located on the driver's side of the vehicle. The air intake can also be found on the driver's side next to the fuel cap. The PVT intake can be found on the passenger side behind the mesh net. The cargo box tilt latch is located on the left side of the vehicle. Tilting the cargo box will give you access to the air box, oil cap, spark plug, dipstick, and the oil filter. Moving to the rear suspension, you'll find the shock assembly, suspension adjustment, which can be adjusted with the tool included in the kit, A-arm, sway bar link, CV joints and axle, and grease zerk on the sway bar mount. A grease zerk can also be found on the prop shaft under the clutch cover. In the rear of the vehicle, you will find the spark arrester and the tow hitch. The tailgate can be lowered by releasing the rear cargo box latch. The VIN label is located on the passenger side front wheel well. The VIN is also stamped on the chassis and the driver side rear wheel well above the clutch cover. Warning, read all labels on your vehicle before riding. A detailed list can be found in your owner's manual. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.